Today I'm going to tell you about the five best upgrades for the Vanquish VS410 kit or RTR Portal or Straight Axle Edition. What's the Vanquish VS410? It's one of the most successful Vanquish editions out there because they've made it down market, meaning they made it attainable for a lot of people. So the kit is 500 bucks and they came up with a ready run for $470 on the straight axle. And just today, I saw they have a ready to run portal edition with a Falcon uh, paint and livery, uh, Wild Peak livery. So pretty cool. A lot of options, you know, gets you out there on, on the about the price of a uh, Axle Gladiator or a Traxxas TRX4 Bronco. It gets you the highest quality uh, in the hobby today. You know, plastic axles, but hey, plastic performs better. So it's ripe for upgrades. You know, they've had to really make some tough choices on what they could and could not include to, to get it around 500 bucks. So I'm gonna tell you about the five best upgrades. The number one thing you should upgrade is the motor and ESC. So here they really got a good one, but man, they got a good cheap one. So they have a 35 turn motor 540 and the Hobbywing 1060, I believe, ESC. So not bad, but you know, so probably one of the better uh, ready to run combos out there, but really, you know, it's not to the part, not to the level of this vehicle. This vehicle is so strong. It's so good. It can handle so much power. The gears are so tight that you just want a better power plant for it. So what do I have in it? I'll show you. I have a um, Hobbywing Fusion Pro in it. So that was my number one recommendation because it's the easiest. You know, it's a motor and ESC built into one. And it's got this kind of modulation. Uh-huh. Uh, it's got... <laughs> almost knocked my stuff out of there. It's got that kind of pop. So you want the 2300 kV. And you want to run it on 3S, okay? Uh, if you want to save money, there's a Fusion SE for, I don't know, $70 and $80. So uh, a little less pop and a, a little less modulation, but plenty good. If you want to go a little better, Home Hobbies has these Trailmaster Pro Editions, censored motors, just a question of how hard you want to go. They also have, a, if you're familiar with Outrunner motors where the, the can spin. So these are good power to weight ratio and they have so much torque because the whole can spins. Okay, so good options there. You know, you also have a, the up and coming FuryTech, same, you have Outrunners and standard can motors. Uh, and then there's a whole assortment of others out there, Castle uh, and whatnot. Uh, a lot of good stuff available. Uh, and this thing can handle 3S, 4S power, whatever you. We, we made ours go 60 miles an hour, so the drive train is strong. It is ready. And look at that. Gears are pretty tight. Table's rocking. The number two upgrade opportunity are the wheels. So the wheels are plastic beadlocks, and unfortunately, you can't really upgrade them. You can't put brass strings on them. So what you want is, you know, easy one is Vanquish has an assortment of, of wheels, beadlock wheels, metal, and you could really personalize your vehicle, but really you can add performance with these brass rings right here. So, you know, two in the front, maybe four all around. It'll get you up there. Normally I say tires, but the tires, you know, this will do. Uh, these are very beautiful Falcon Wild Peak tires in a good soft compound. Uh, maybe upgrade the foam, uh, but uh, in its base configuration, uh, it's probably one of the best included tires out there. But if you are in demanding conditions, yeah, go for the tire that works well in your neck of the woods. The number three upgrade is an appearance mod, and I'm gonna go twofold on it. One is just, if you like this body, go get the lights. Beautiful lights by Vanquish, and the light buckets are really good, so this will have a nice projector beam, and not too expensive, $50, I think. And then the other flip side of it is, one of the problems of Vanquish is they all have the same, the Phoenix is they all have the same body. You know, we were hoping their RTR would have a different body, but, uh, same, so it's they're a, kind of a dime a dozen now when it comes to Vanquish. So upgrade the body if you want to. Uh, where where's my where's my body? You know, there's it's it's a nice body, but there's nicer ones out there. Uh huh. Give give it a personal touch. Go get a hard body. My buddy put a Enjora hard body on a Jeep, and it's beautiful. 
uh, the chassis can handle anything. And the number four upgrade is the servo. The servo is another compromise. It's not bad, it's 200 ounce inches of torque, but it's really, this thing can handle a lot more. So not bad, but yeah, right there, it's at, it's at, it's at its limit. So definitely you could do better with a better servo. Uh, Holmes makes about a, f uh, a good 500 one and Reefs also has about a, what do you call that? Uh, another 500, raw 500, Holmes 650. So I don't really prescribe to the 1,000, 1,200 ounce inch servos. If you don't really need it, uh, you're, just, you're just gonna, you're just wasting your money. So uh, 500, 600, that's an honest one would be good. And while you're at servos, Another upgrade would be the dig servo. So this has two channels, two mechanisms that are ready. One is a dig and one is adjustable overdrive. So dig is really useful. So dig is when you lock out the rear tire and you can reposition your vehicle. When you're in a very technical spot, that's one way to, to spin your, uh, make your turning radius about zero or to just you know, reposition yourself on a, on a, on a rock. So very good. Um, and it's, it's, it's fairly easy to use. The other one is adjustable overdrive. I don't think that's really useful. Basically, 6% uh, or 40% overdrive, <laughs> meaning I don't think it's useful to adjust it on the fly unless you're doing such a variety of, of trail, trail, trail running and then rock crawling. Uh, just, th you have a switch there. Just switch it to the one where you want it to uh, and you can get used to it, so. And finally, the last upgrade I'll talk to you about are the, I'll give you a couple options because this one is, you know, it uh, depends on what you're really into. The brass by Banquish is really good. Portal axles, uh, if you have portals, they are definitely get, <laughs> I would lean towards those uh, brass uh, portal covers that they have. 120 grams for the front, 60 grams for the rear. And these, these, this weight is lower than the center point of the, of the axle. You know, that's what portals does do is uh, they give you some space underneath there so so definitely but they're kind of pricey you know 90 uh, 80 bucks and 70 bucks so the other option is uh, quick release uh, these are quick release tabs by 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 fine laser designs so they have these hooks uh, and they latch onto the chassis uh, when, when you lock them down all right so those are my five best upgrades for the vanquish vs410 either ready to run or kit you know, get this vehicle to its potential. All right, thanks a ton.